park. What is that sensation I feel in the air? It almost feels as though the temperature has dropped. It has plummeted. It feels darn right cool out here. I bet it's only 80. <laughs> I bet it's only 80, which is really nice change. Autumn. Yeah. What? What, my precious baby? Are you ready to get out? You ready? She says, Mama, let me out. I'm going to push this door open. Oh, your bucket's in the way, so you're not going to push, huh? Come on out, sweet thing. You ready for your banana peel? Yeah. Hey, hey, look. What's your. Hey, where are you going? Hey, look at him. <gasps> it's your banana peel. Oh, you want to eat it from that end, huh? Had to drop it on the ground first and get it dirty. Hey, why aren't you eating it? You must have gotten too much for dinner last night. You must have had a big dinner. Fine, I'll give it to Kitty. I know she'll take it. Just topped off the oats. And now I'm giving them just a little bit of extra hydration through potato great food for meal bugs meal worms so they will be all over this in no time look that one's already got a beetle up on it they'll all find their way they'll be covered in beetles and worms speaking of hydration i think i know what i feel in the air we are expected to have some rain finally. Margo, I'm so glad to see you're back. You're not lost. I'm glad for that. Now clean up under the quail cage like a good little duck duck. These ducks, they do a good job of pest control. And the rain couldn't be here fast enough. <laughs> All these baby tomato transplants are growing fast and they are going to quickly need some latticing or staking. But the rain is really going to make a difference in their health at this point. So I'm super excited to have rain on the way. The strawberries have even started slowing down in their fruiting process because we haven't had any rain. But the garlic will be much easier to pull if it's rained. So I'm looking forward to that. Most of the tomatoes over here are doing fantastic. You can see we already have blooms forming. Thank you, Robert at Daybird Aviaries for your generous contribution of time and efforts. Look at that, tomato flowers, I love them. We do see some of this curling leaf that I'm hoping is just heat stress. But when I see it do this full curl like this, it definitely looks more like herbicide damage, which could be coming from our own soil. You see it's on all of the new growth, even this sucker in between, it's also curling. So I'm going to leave them, see if they outgrow this and hope that they do. Maybe the rain will wash away the last little bit of herbicide that's left in this soil. All we did was use our hay that we feed our animals for this bed and it added some herbicide to our organic garden. So you have to be really, really careful. It looks like the plants down at this end of the garden actually don't show any signs of that herbicide damage. It seems to be concentrated all on that end, which I do think is where the newest stuff was put when we dumped some of the waste hay from our animals so that's interesting and look at this incredible incredible double bloom this is a triple bloom so this is gonna be either a very large tomato or a very deformed tomato but i'm super excited this is my spears tennessee green tomato plant looks like they're gonna be large and in charge so i need to finish adding trellis and 
figuring out a way to secure it so it's not leaning. This was just an experiment with these bamboos. I wasn't expecting it to hold the weight. I was actually thinking we would need rebar or T-post. So um, that's on Ryan's to-do list for the weekend, but the weekend's forecast is 100% rain. All rain. So we might not be out here in the garden at all, even though that was our intention. But hopefully the rain will help these plants do better and we can get the trellising done soon so that they'll have something to climb on. My intent is to, once this trellis is secure, I'm going to tie a piece of um, twine from the top down to the tomato plant so that the tomato can grow up that twine and as it grows I'll tuck branches in and hugging the twine so that'll be awesome. As my tomatoes grow I trim off any leaves that are touching the ground so these leaves will be pruned off so once they're properly on the trellis I'll have a chance to come through here and remove some of these lower leaves and as the plant grows I remove a little bit more. You never want to remove all of your lower leaves at once or it'll cause shock to the plant and that is definitely not what you want to do to these sweet tomatoes. The rule for any pruning on any plant is always less than a third. You never want to prune off more than a third of a plant or it will shock it and cause it to stunt its growth. We are a good bit behind for most Georgia gardeners in our season is long so we will have Lots of tomatoes still. They'll just be later in the season than most people. There are people here in Georgia already harvesting ripe red tomatoes. Makes me super jealous, but I'm happy for them. And I'm happy that we have a potential to catch up a little bit here if we can get some of this rain coming in. Ooh, yay. This brown stalk makes me happy. I had a plant from a friend that I kept in this pot because it was a giant red mustard green that I have grown before and it's amazing and very prolific. And see, those are seeds. And as you can see, they have seeded perfectly, as was my plan. Hey babies, are you playing? <laughs> Scrunchy, you're just like a bottle baby, even though you haven't had a bottle in a long, long time. <laughs> he still thinks he's a... Hello, April, sweet baby. Hey, hey, Autumn. Are you trying to jump on me, Scrunch? <laughs> Bite me? Hey, sweet April. Hi, May May. Hi, no name. Hi, other no name. Yeah, that's right. We still haven't named them. Ryan's throwing a few great ideas at me, but for some reason they just don't stick. I think the reason why I'm having a hard time naming those two is because I'm considering that those are going to be the ones that we will sell this year. So two female dolings from Rosemary. And I just can't... I can't bring myself to name them because I know they're going to leave. And then, my goodness, I have these sweet babies that just nuzzle and play and all these babies to love on <laughs> it's hard not to get attached as you can see rosemary has a very nice udder um, I have brought her on the milk stand just to make sure that she's a good girl but I haven't needed to milk her out much so she's got really nice teats so I think she's gonna be a keeper for our herd so that's why I don't feel like I need to keep her offspring that much Granted, we're keeping Daisy and Fancy too, but um, they both have things that I want to add to my herd is why I'm keeping their offspring. Well, I don't know about keeping you, but <laughs> I don't know. Daddy says I'm not allowed any more boys, especially not pet ones. <laughs> he says I'm not allowed to keep you, Dad. He would be a wonderful weather for a pet home. If anybody is interested, in having the sweetest boy in the world as their buddy. This little guy, he's too sweet. He loves me. <laughs> I just finished resetting up their playground and Autumn is the first one over here playing. Oh, Time, are you gonna play too? 
Yeah, because you're just a baby. Not. <laughs> they always knock down the chairs and the slides by the end of the day. So I'm always out here piling them back up together again so they can explore and have fun. They love it. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're such a good mama, Fancy. You had to follow your baby because she left the main eating area. Or he. He's such a good mama. She's such a good mama that I think April is about to steal some milk from her. <laughs> I did have to milk out Fancy on one side one day this week. But for the most part, Scrunchy and the other kids are keeping her in check. How about you? Huh? About you time. That, that, that. Don't you be mean to that baby. It's so weird that time is one of the meanest goats to Autumn and that's her mom. I mean granted she rejected her but you would think that she'd have a little bit more sympathy. <sighs> goats are weird. Animals are weird. But I love them. You ladies getting enough to eat? You got your whole entire head under the hay, guys. Oh my goodness, they are so silly. So silly. Yeah, don't eat too fast, you choke on it. We have another clutch that's hatched out of our nest above the alpine stall. I just saw the mama bird outside in the garden picking a caterpillar off of our broccoli to come and feed the babies. I was hoping that if I snuck over here and set up the camera that she would come. But I hear her. She keeps making her warning noise behind me. Oh, I hear the babies. They say, Mama, we hungry. Maybe she will come if I stand quiet and still enough. She's in the barn. There we go. If anybody knows what kind of bird this is, I haven't looked it up yet. This is her second clutch. She's been a good mom. They want more, baby. Go get some more caterpillars off my broccoli. I am wishing, hoping, and praying that we get a good amount of rain this weekend. Ideally, it'll be slow and steady instead of hard and fast, so it has time to penetrate into the earth and not just drain off into the pond. <laughs> but, oh, this smells good. All I can smell is butterfly bush, which is the most wonderful fragrance ever. I am loving my butterfly garden. Due to the fact that this entire weekend is supposed to be full of rainstorms all weekend, it might be a little bit hard for me to get videos made, but hopefully I can get a few kitchen things done that I've been wanting to share with you guys anyway. And hopefully I'll have the energy and the mental clarity to do those for you. And I just wanted to say that those of you that have made purchases on our Amazon, we really appreciate it. When you use our Amazon link, we get a very small percentage. It does not change the price of the item for you guys. It just helps us out in a small way. And for those of you that have shopped on our wish list for gifts and items for us in our homestead, that is very appreciated. And we really, really, really just say a big thank you for all of the support you guys show. And don't forget that you are now able to order merchandise using the ad just below the video playing so check those out and maybe get yourself some wholesome roots t-shirts we appreciate any help that we get